Hey everybody, this is uh, Crypto News Old School Stock Picker. Today I'm just doing a follow up on uh, Gala Games. I did some more research, finding out some more information. Um, I know people watching, they watched this thing uh, go up in the last 24 hours to 48 cents. Right now, uh, Gala is, uh, let's just take a quick peek. I think it's retracing right now. So if you notice just on this CoinGecko uh, uh, chart, let me get my uh, thing. Okay, on this CoinGecko chart on, on Gala, look at in the last 14 days. Every single day, it looks like it would go up a little and then it would head back down and then head a little higher. But it looks like they're having higher lows every single time. So right now, yes, it did run up yesterday to 48 cents yesterday. Dropped down today to 36 cents. But look at it. It's starting to make its way back up again. So any of these stocks that typically go parabolic, they're going to have that run up where they're going to run up. People are going to take some profits who had been in at really, really cheap prices. And then it's going to hit a new uh, resistance level, which looks like it's uh, right at about 37 cents. Now it's starting to move itself back up. And right now it's going at 38 cents. So people out there, if you're still wondering if it's a great buy, I believe it's a great buy. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, as far as uh, things go, I'm, uh, it's not financial advice. Um, oh, what the heck was I going to say? Okay. Uh, don't be buying any crypto uh, currency if you don't, if you can't afford to lose everything. Um, I found a great article also. I'm going to, I'm going to tap into this in a second, but I just wanted to show you with this guy, Eric Schumeyer, whatever the hell his name is, the CEO, he used to work for Zynga. Okay. So the guy who's the CEO for Gala, he used to work for this company. He actually co-founded this freaking company. Check this company out, Zynga. Okay, it's going for about $6.50 on the NASDAQ stock market. But you may even recognize some of these games. So incredible. It's like a $2 billion company. I went on uh, Wikipedia and I was looking. It's uh, There he is, Eric Schermeyer right there. He's uh, one of the co-founders. And it was established 14 years ago. $2 billion in revenue. Two billion in revenue, employees twenty two hundred. So he was the guy who founded this company. Let's see some of the games. If you recognize any of the games that were on there, Words with Friends, Farmville Three, Empires, Buzzles, uh, Merge Dragons, Merge Magic. I'll just I won't even tell him. Just take a peek at this is a guy. This is the Zynga company that he co-founded. So he did so successfully well there that he had to leave and decided to go found his own company, the Gala. Well, I found a good article on him. I want you to uh, listen to the article. It's still a great buying opportunity. And I still think, where is it at? I was looking at CoinGecko, the top gaming coins by market cap. So yes, the big monster, Axie Infinity, 130 bucks a coin, Sandbox, 418 a coin, Engine Coin, 331, Gala. 38 cents but you look over here in the market cap or in the market cap it's almost a three billion dollar market cap i believe with the crypto market going to explode axie infinity could go up maybe three four times maybe the market cap will go up two three four times where each one of these gaming coins the most successful ones is so if that's the point if it's a three billion dollar market cap on gala and put it at uh, approximately 12, that would be approximately looking at about, uh, what is that, 40 times uh, four, about a buck 60, two bucks a coin. But the potential is still there to go way, 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 way freaking higher. So watch this video because about three weeks ago, there was a Galacon, it was uh, a, an event, and they, they interviewed the CEO, Eric Schirmeyer. And uh, I want you to watch it and I want you to listen to them because if you're buying the coin, you need to know what you're buying into. And this guy is phenomenal. So I'll let it go. It's about 16 minutes. So suck it up, get yourself a beer or, or soda, whatever, and listen to him because he's explaining the future of Gala and why it's going to do fantastic. And remember, I really appreciate uh, you subscribing to, uh, to uh, Crypto News, Old School Stock Picker. I'm at 336 subscribers. Please, please, please help me to get to... Uh, 500. 
Uh, we're going to head to the moon with Gala. Thank you very much for helping me. I really appreciate it. Grow my channel. It's time to kick some ass. Let's watch the video. Hello, everybody. Sorry about the uh, little uh, little technical snafu that we just experienced, but apparently we just broke uh, a couple of the technology platforms that we were trying to use, um, which is a good sign, actually. I think that there's a lot of interest in our project. There's a lot of interest in NFTs in general. Um, I think that uh, the, the thing that I want to mention, you might notice my background. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing with our community uh, yesterday. I, I the, the Dungeons and Dragons game that we had going was really fun. I was talking about it with my wife this morning. And um, I think that that's something that we're gonna definitely keep doing. So what, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about Gala. I think that uh, we have so much really fun and interesting pieces of information to share. The whole team has been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. And there's gonna be some really exciting things for you guys to witness. Um, I'm particularly interested in uh, seeing Michael McCarthy's presentation on Mirandas. Uh, but let's let's start from the beginning. I think um, in the previous version of the keynote, I talked a little bit about why did I start this company? And um, I'm gonna let my co-founder Wright talk a little bit about what his, his ori original ideas were. But um, for me, what was really important was that I was seeing some really interesting things in the games industry. I was seeing people spend $70 billion a year on things that they never actually owned um, that were ultimately controlled by other people. Uh, usually those people were Apple and Google, these, these huge monopolistic entities that take 30% of all revenue in the games industry for themselves, for providing, uh, you know, kind of a service. I'm not sure if we really need them, to be honest. Um, so that's $21 billion a year flowing into their hands. And what, what, what creative, um, expression are we seeing as a result of that? We're not seeing them make games. We're not seeing them make apps. We're just seeing them take the money. Um, and then another thing that was happening that, that was really affecting me personally was, uh, you know, you, you, I was hearing reports about the experience of people around the world and the, the struggle that, that some of them or even a lot of them were experiencing. And, and, and juxtaposing that with like what I was seeing here in the United States with kids that I know spending a dollar a day uh, on games, uh, more, you know, hundreds even with some of these kids. And then, you know, in this, in some other countries, you have kids who are working in sweatshops for a dollar a day. And I thought to myself, you know, if we were able to decentralize the money that's flowing into the, the coffers of Apple and Google, then that would, that would amount to a massive amount of money going into the hands directly of the people who need it the most. And the, 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 the beauty of, the blockchain really started to shine through for me and how we could potentially be making this a seamless uh, experience for people that a kid in the United States or an adult in the United States uh, for that matter could buy something directly from somebody in a place like Cambodia or something like that. Um, and the, the person in Cambodia could directly benefit from that. So the, the cool thing about this, I think, is that this directly flows into our mission. So our, our mission being that we want to enable freedom and prosperity through play. And so wh what's, what's more, more free than actually owning the things that you buy? So I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but the story I like to tell people when I tell people about Gala is imagine if you wanted to go buy your son or daughter or niece or nephew or your friend's kids a toy and you went to a toy store. And before you could enter the toy store, you had to sign a terms of service agreement that basically said that whenever they felt like it, they can come to your house and take the toy back if you share it with other people. No one would ever agree to that. You wouldn't go to that toy store. You wouldn't buy toys from them. And the first time that ever happened that the toy store showed up at your house, forcibly walked in and reclaimed the toy that you spent really good money on, well, there would be a massive uprising and people would never shop at that, that toy company ever again. But that's, a, that's what we've been living with for the last 10 years or so. Um, these, these huge companies can take our toys, so to speak, whenever they feel like it, for whatever reason they want to. And 
the beautiful thing about the blockchain is that we could really begin to correct that um, that imbalance that that I think in 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 three to five years nobody's going to be playing video games that aren't actually on the blockchain because why would you spend that kind of money on games um, that you didn't actually own? So that's 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 part of what we're we're really looking to do and and I think that the other part is that you know there's there's this huge secondary market in the video games industry it's something like 50 billion dollars a year are spent buying and selling game assets and it's all in this um gray market kind of experience where you're very likely to purchase something from a hacker than you are from um a real game player and yet still people do it they do it all day long and and again the blockchain comes in here to make this a, a trustless uh experience and uh, what we were hoping we can do here at Gala was create an ecosystem that allowed people all over the world to experience the prosperity that the game industry is experiencing. Um, you know, the games industry is something like $150 billion a year if you add in all the, the secondary market stuff. And what, why not share that with people? Why not create more of that uh, opportunity for others? And so that's what we did. We actually went and did that. Um, this is this is the very beginning of our project, but we already have people who can have told us directly that they've been able to buy their very first home in the country that they live in by playing Townstar, which I think is an absolutely epic um, expression of our mission. So what I'd also like to share with you a little bit about is um, what are we what are we really here and what are we really doing here? Um, you know, besides supporting and curating the Gala ecosystem, uh, making our own games and publishing the games of others, you know, we're 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 really about helping people and and taking a um, very personal interest in what's going on in our our community. And so that's one of the reasons why we were playing Dungeons and Dragons with the community yesterday. It's also one of the reasons why you'll see a lot of us in the Discord, uh, communi communicating directly with. Um, the people in the ecosystem. Uh, you'll find me in there a lot. Hopefully, um, I'm, I'm, I'm as helpful as I think I am. I try to be anyway. Uh, but here's here's something that I think everyone really needs to know. Uh, it's a very important piece of information, and it gets asked fairly regularly. Uh, people often say that you know they're investing in Gala. You know, when they go and they buy one of our uh, items or they 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 purchase some coins or things something like that and i and i really want to make sure that that in no no uncertain terms you shouldn't be doing that this is a, not an investment we're we don't think of this as an investment uh we don't think of this as um anything to do with the like roi or anything like that you know this is not a project for crypto uh speculators uh, this is this is a place where if you want to come and you want to participate in the in, in a gaming ecosystem and you want to play amazing games and be a part of this decentralized game uh, uh, project and world, I think that that's that's who we want. Now, you know, if, you, if you're here for an investment, uh, take a, take advantage of our refund that we offer um, and and go find something a little bit more to your taste because we will, we're always going to choose what's best for the games um, and our gamers over any other interest. And, um, that's important for you guys to realize. And, and, you know, people say, well, how could that possibly be? Somebody spent $800,000 on an NFT or they spent $6,000 on a node license. Well, the, the thing that I think a lot of you guys need to really understand about the games industry is that in order for even, you know, a, a, a part of it, like the mobile, the mobile section of the games industry to make $70 billion a year, you need people to spend incredible sums of money. And that's what they do. People are spending regularly millions of dollars a month on, on their own game experience. But the, the, the insanity of what it used to be is that they would spend that money on a game experience that they never actually owned or controlled. And so it's not at all surprising to me personally, given what I've been living the last 20 years, that someone would spend that kind of money or maybe even a lot more. We just don't know what's gonna happen. I know that I, I personally have seen it. So people are willing to spend money on their game experiences. And that's what we're that's what we're really about. We're we're really about making games, guys. So again, I think that you know, if you're thinking of this as an investment, please take us take us up on the refund. So that being said, 
uh, I'd like to switch over to how we're doing. Um, we're actually doing really, really, really well. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. You can see a little bit of uh, our map. We have players across the globe. We have um, an incredibly diverse group of um, people who are, are part of our ecosystem. You know, we're we're growing every single month. We're making more and more money every single month. Um, the number of unique users who are coming and visiting us is just absolutely um, astonishing given where we are in this project. And I couldn't be more excited about uh, what what we've been building. Um, and the team is just absolutely amazing. So one, one thing that I think is really fun to note is that if, you, if you're one of our operators of a node, you'll notice that sometimes there's over 5,000 active nodes online. That means that there's, there, you know, there's so many servers operating across the globe and hopefully you guys are going to stick to the um stay, stay around till when uh adam speaks excuse me and you're going to learn more about some of the exciting features that are coming with the nodes but we have a vision of the future in which our entire ecosystem is operating off of these nodes and it's going to be amazing i'm really excited about that um now I know I know that a lot of you are hoping that we would have a big reveal of a new game, um, but I'd just like to mention that we're pretty focused right now on Mirandus, and you're going to see why uh, that's that's been uh, such an important focus for us here in a little bit when Michael gets on stage. But uh, we do have other games in development. In fact, we have seven more games in development. So. Uh, that's that's actually really I think pretty fun. Um, we're we're having uh, a lot of fun coming up uh, with the the new game experiences that we're creating. Uh, we're working with some third party studios. We're even working with some very large, very well known uh, AAA game studios. That uh, once once we're clear to share with you guys um, what those images are, we're, we're going to be really excited to do that. But you can get a sense here of the kinds of games that we're looking at building. We really think that the entire games industry can can fit inside the blockchain. So we're going to make tons of different types of games, guys. Probably the first game that you're going to see uh, here pretty soon is a tower defense. It's a personal favorite of mine. I enjoy strategy games. I like tower defense. And I think it, it really kind of works pretty well with the whole idea of NFTs um, and land and upgrades and different things like that. So. I think the fun thing about this game is that it's going to be based on the Binance smart chain. So we announced a little while ago that we were going to be working with Binance. And, um, you know, I think a lot of our um, our users have been experiencing issues with Ethereum and rightfully so. It's been kind of a pain in the ass, guys. I'm sorry about that. But uh, hopefully working with Binance will change a lot of that for you guys. We also are talking to, as you know, Flair um, and Matic. But uh, this first this first one is going to be focused um, on Binance. Unless something changes, you never know. Things things can shift around. We hope to have our, our first token drops coming by sometime around the end of March. Um, if it's not the end of March, it'll probably be in April, but it's coming soon. Um, so, oh yeah, okay. So this is this is really fun. the the next The next item on our little PowerPoint here is something that we've been thinking about for a while, the Gala Game Fund. So as a lot of you know, there's a, uh, a big chunk of uh, Gala that's been set aside for ecosystem development. And we are going to be moving 2 billion Gala into a wallet that's designated for the Gala Game Fund. And the cool thing about this is that if you're a game developer, go check out gala.fund and submit a proposal to us we're going to have uh, the team curate, take a look at the proposals. And then if you're a node owner, you're going to get a vote on whether or not that proposal should receive a grant for development and integration into Gala. Uh, the cool thing is that, you know, as, as we develop the uh, ecosystem more, the nodes are going to be playing a more and more integral role in the governance of what we're doing. So, um, we're also going to be doing a hackathon that actually is in support of this. And so uh, there'll be a lot of uh, hopefully really interesting entries. The team, I think, is really excited to take a look at what we're up to. And um, 
the, the, these two ideas are going to work really well together. Um, I'm hopeful that we are going to be able to see a lot of creativity from the ecosystem, from our users. I know I, I've seen people in our Discord talk about how they have their own personal project. I hope they they submit their idea. I think that'll be really fun. Um, the the thing I just want to mention about this, one of the reasons why we have this isn't just to create more games for the, the Gala ecosystem. What, what I've personally witnessed over the years is that in order to get a game built, you, you, have, to, you have to really focus on game experiences that you're absolutely certain are gonna make an incredible amount of money. And as a result of that, what we haven't really seen as much creativity as I think is actually present in the minds of the game developers. And I'm hopeful that what we can provide is a place for um, really interesting creative expression in the games industry. Um, so even if you think your idea is a little bit wacky, please send it in. We want to take a look at it. We're looking to have as much creative flow as we possibly can. So, you know, I think that um, the fund is going to be really doing a lot of good here, and um, I hope that we can. We can we can really work and partner with you guys on building some amazing experiences. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 what I have to say. I mean, I could I could probably talk for the next couple of hours of any one of these particular points. But I think that what we want to do is start getting some of our other speakers in here and seeing what they have to say. I know that people have been thinking about this for a while, and I'm really excited to see what they have to say. And I hope you are too. So. Let's, uh, let's switch back over to Jason and get some other speakers on here. All right, so there was a quick, uh, quick rundown from the CEO, the CEO of Gala. And remember, this is the same guy that founded this company, Zynga. So check this freaking graphing up. This guy was a co-founder. This is what your Gala could look like when it's done. Okay. And where is Gala at right now? Let's just double check. I told you it's starting to move back up. So it's consolidating. When something goes up super high, it's usually, like I said, if you take a peek down at it, yeah, there was people that were taking profits on it, but it's starting to make its move back up again. Let's see if we can uh, retrace over to seven days. So there are, there's every time that drops down, it's a newer, higher low as it continues to move up higher. So I just want to tell you again, uh, very much. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I think Gala's going to go to the moon. I think we're going to kick some ass. And this is uh, Crypto News Old School Stock Picker Out. Everybody have a great night.